the Clements stick together. And that goes whether it's a family dinner or a move across the country. It's a lifestyle Diane Clement wouldn't trade for the world. Every two weeks we probably saw them four times. She followed her sons from Ohio to the bayou just to be close. But the pandemic put a damper on those plans. Social distancing means no hugs, no grandkids, no physical contact. It's tough right now. We're fortunate to be on the first floor. We sit on our patio and they and they bring supplies to us. The same feeling Clement wrestles with every night is felt all over the Blake at the Grove assistant living facility. So the families and the staff decided to do something special. The trumpets blew and a string of makeshift floats reached around the complex. Each honk, a family member trying to make contact in a social distance world. But Clement's favorite car was easy to spot. It was decked out in a mask and blue eyes only her daughter-in-law could have come up with. I thought it was a great idea. Um, anything to help brighten the residents here's day. The sight brought Clement to tears. I teared up this morning. I will admit that uh, because these people came out, gave their morning to make our day for us and, and let us know that they miss us too. The sound of a trumpet or a honking horn never sounded sweeter to a woman who needed the support of a family that always sticks together. Kara St. Cyr, NBC, Local 33 News. Thank you.